Welcome back artists. This week we're going to be making a portrait of a traveling llama. In the Andes Mountains, llamas can travel up to 20 miles a day carrying 50 to 75 pounds of things for people traveling from place to place. So this week we're going to make a traveling llama and you're going to need a piece of paper that will watercolor paint or some kind of paint or you can color a silhouette of some mountains. So I did mine in black oil pastel, but you can use black crayon, you can cut out black paper, whatever you wanna use for that part. A piece of paper to make your llama, which I covered mine in cotton balls to make him fuzzy, and I used a googly eye. And then you'll need a piece of scrap paper to make the luggage. So I drew mine with colored pencil, and I added some sequins. All right, let's get started on these traveling llamas. All right, artists, let's get started on these traveling llamas. So here you can see my completed one and I'm gonna show you how I made it. So I'm gonna start with a piece of watercolor paper if you have it or just a white copy paper that um, we're going to draw the silhouette on and then add watercolor to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my silhouette. I'm gonna add a layer of hills and then I'm gonna add some mountains in the background. If you don't have an oil pastel, you can use a black crayon, a Sharpie, or you can cut out black paper and glue it over. Now I'm gonna add some snow peaks to my mountain so I know not to color that black. And then I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up while I fill this silhouette in. Okay, once you get it colored in, we can start going in with our watercolor paint. So I'm gonna go in with some black to get in all the spots that I missed. Or a dark color, I'll use a blue. And then let's go ahead and paint the background sky. So I kinda did mine a watercolor blend of purples and blues. You can do a red, orange, and yellow sunset, whatever kind of watercolor background you are feeling today. Okay, once you get your watercolor done, we can go ahead and set that aside to dry while we start working on our llama. All right, go ahead and get a white piece of paper and we're gonna draw our llama. I've already sketched mine out with pencil, but I'm gonna go ahead and trace over it so that you guys can see the shape. So I'm gonna start at the bottom of my paper and I'm gonna make a big upside down skinny rainbow U. And that's gonna be the separation between the llama's legs. Okay, now I'm gonna come up from each side so you can see those are gonna be the legs at the bottom and I'll show you my finished one again. So you can kinda of see the shape we're making. And then I'm gonna come up for a long neck. They have a long neck. They're related to alpacas and camels. And then I'm gonna come around for a nose. Up and make two ears, ear, straight line, ear. And I'm gonna come down for the back of the neck. And then I'm gonna come out for the back. Start to curve around. I'm gonna make a little tail. And then connect that bottom half to the leg. And then we have the shape of our llama. Now, I don't need to add any details really because I'm gonna just be covering it with cotton balls. But if you don't have cotton balls and you're going to color yours, you can go ahead and add an eye and start decorating it now. On this same paper, I'm going to go ahead and draw my luggage above it, and you might want to cut your llama out first and just measure it, so I'll go ahead and cut mine out. Okay, once you have it cut out, I actually use this little U that you cut out from between the legs to measure the side I wanted like the saddle to be for the luggage, so I went ahead and traced that onto my paper and then drew my luggage on top of it. And I ended up cutting mine out a little bit shorter. So you can draw a smaller one or you can decide that once you get it cut out. And then you're just gonna go ahead and stack some luggage. So what I did was make some rectangular shaped suitcases. And 
and add a handle, you can add some details, and I'm just going to keep drawing them stacked up. So I did a shorter one. This one I did two different, a bag and a box. Until you feel like it's getting a little too tall. Then I put a little tiny present on top. All right, now you can cut this luggage out and color it in. So I'm gonna pause and then cut mine out and then I'm gonna show you how to assemble this with the cotton balls. Okay, once you have your luggage cut out in your llama, go ahead and check and make sure that's gonna fit good. You might need to alter the saddle if you need to cut that a little bit shorter, you can do that now. And then you can go ahead and take some colored pencils and colored yours in. So I'll show you a close up of the one I did finished. And then I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to cover your llama in fuzz. So you're gonna need to grab about two or three cotton balls and then you're gonna go ahead and shred them. So I'm gonna pull them into little pieces. So they're puffy, but they're not that puffy. Okay, once you get all your cotton fluff, you can go ahead and just cover your llama with some glue and start sticking your cotton balls to it. You'll notice you're gonna get like cotton stuck to your fingers, but that's okay, just rub it off and it should fall off. All right, once you start getting close to having it covered, a really cool trick with cotton is, well, it's cotton, you can take a piece and kind of roll it up and you can make a pointy shape to fit for the tail and the ears. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover my tail and ears and then I'll fill in any blank spots I have left over with more cotton fuzz. So I'm gonna roll two points for the ears and then go back and fill in any gaps you might have or spaces you wanna cover. Okay, once you get your llama all fuzzy, you can take your colored luggage, I haven't colored mine yet, and glue that down to its back. And then we'll take the entire llama and glue it down to your painted background so it looks like it's traveling through the mountains. So I'll show you my finished one again. And then you have your beautiful llama traveling through the Andes. I hope you guys liked this project. I thought it was really fun to make. If you made one and you want to send us a picture, please post it so we can see what you're working on. And we'll see you again next week for another week of the Epic Art Camp. Bye.